My name is Stephen and this is my channel, Hearts Delight Exports. Okay, so we're back down in the shop again today and like every year it seems, I'm due for a last minute Christmas project. I put it off and there's no good reason for putting it off. It's a fairly simple thing. Today we're going to be mounting a head on a plaque. Don't get too squeamish, it's not that kind of thing. This is the head we're going to be mounting. So my nephew is totally in love with dinosaurs, has been for most of his life. So I came across this skull at Halloween. It's advertised as a candy dish and the mouth opens. So I thought this was cute as pie. Thought he would love it but I don't want it to be kicking around his room and in the way of everything all the time. I want to put it on a plaque so it can be mounted up on the wall somewhere and he's got the thrill of looking at it and the dish part kind of acts like a secret compartment if I don't screw things up. So the first thing I have to do is work on the back of the skull. There's six screws here and I need a way to mount this to the plaque. So my idea is take off the back of the skull. My intention is to put two bolts out through the back of the skull plate here, secure them nice and tight, and then reattach the back of the skull. And after that, it's only a matter of putting on a few washers and a couple of nuts on the back of the plaque. That way the plaque can be mounted and everything is solid and secure. So I already have the back of the skull taken off. The next part is to drill out some holes. Okay, that'll work. Some of the holes in the plaque that I need to cover up will be fitted nice and tightly with this uh, dowel. Next step is nice and simple. I need to haul out a small handsaw, cut off a bunch of these dowel lengths so that they're uh, closer to what the length that I need. Yeah, I'm looking around for the tools that I need. And uh, then I can glue them and hammer them home. Then it's the nice search for nuts and washers and stuff. So this is how it's going to mount. These two outer nuts will come off and the holes will be driven, drilled through the plaque and the bolts will go through and the nuts will be reattached. I got a couple of washers there that I'm hoping to put on that'll help spread out the pressure of, the, of it all, but I'm not sure if the bolts are going to be long enough to be able to accommodate that. So now I need to take this assembly apart again so that I can mark out where I'm going to put the holes in the plaque to be able to mount this. So I need to figure out how I want this thing to sit. The back of the skull only helps me so much. I have enough distance on the top bolt to put the nut on there and probably a washer. Bottom one, I'm really not going to have much more space than a nut to be synced in there pretty good. But that should hold. It's only a plastic skull, so that should be okay. So for the moment, I could set this plaque aside, let the glue dry some more. And I can put this back on the dinosaur head. This 
comes with some very small screws to put back in. Six of them, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, maybe it'll keep the thing together nice and good. Okay, now that that part is done, everything seems to be still nice and tight. So have you seen the mistake I've made? I thought about it when I was, before I did it. And I forgot about it when I was actually doing it and was supposed to remember. Do you see the nuts sticking up? That's gonna be into the wall. It's gonna cause a problem. We go to, to mount this on my nephew's wall. It's gonna sit off of the wall and not hang properly. So now I need to do something that'll make that hang properly. And the easiest way to fix that is to glue a couple of spacer blocks on the back side of the plaque so that the nuts won't be interfering with the wall anymore. Okay, so I got a support structure on the back so that when it sits on the wall this way that it'll it should rest mostly on this. And here's our finished product. The mouth still opens and closes, which means my, my nephew can hide some stuff in there if he wanted to, or just have it mounted a different way. Or have it opening and closing anyway. So I still have a few little things to do with this. I have to drop a little bit of stain onto the dowels to help cover that up. And I have to drill out the holes, this one and this one, uh, so that, or actually probably a little bit below that, so that this will mount on the wall sensibly. Hopefully it'll be level, I'm not entirely positive that it will be, but it should be strong enough. I think I will go back and on the top up here, add one more little piece of wood, I, that I think I'll put on top of there so that no matter what happens, it's supported each way. And it's a very small thing to accomplish, so hopefully that won't uh, take any screwing up. <laughs> hopefully there's no room for screwing up left on that. But yeah, two little screws and I can put a, a hole in the top so that my brother can screw through the plaque and mount it on that way if he wants. Maybe he'll want three screws into it. It'll all depend on which way uh, is convenient where it's solid in the wall. Now, I still have all these little, little dowel pieces that need to be cut off. That's a minor thing. I'll do that probably tomorrow after the glue's had a good chance to dry. So that's another one for Hearts to Light Exports. But hopefully you got an idea out of this and maybe it's fun and amusing to you. It's definitely something a little different to think about. Uh, when you know somebody's interest but the thing you're looking at doesn't quite work for, for that interest. My nephew loves dinosaurs. I could have just gave him the, the dish and said here you go and still would have come out ahead but I think this way mounted on the wall as a trophy of the the one that didn't get away that hopefully this will go over a little bit better only Christmas Day will tell 
So that's it for me. I hope you had a, a memorable few minutes here watching video with me. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Plan well for your Christmas and your New Year. Don't drink and drive. Don't, don't drive under the influence of whatever. I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you in the New Year. Don't cause a problem.